Hello, my name's Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple training drill you can do, which will improve your rallying skills, it'll improve your ability to watch your opponent, and it'll also improve your ball placement skills. It's a training drill that any player at any ability level can do, and it's a drill which I use quite a bit in my coaching sessions and when I'm practicing as well. So, let's have a look at the drill. Here I am with my training partner, Martin, and we're playing backhand to backhand. But then when Martin chooses, he's going to play the ball down the line to my forehand. When he switches it to my forehand, we then play forehand to forehand. And then when I choose, I switch the ball down the line to Martin's backhand. We then go back to playing backhand to backhand. Martin switches, forehand to forehand. I switch, backhand to backhand, and on and on. Now the purpose of the training drill is to keep the exercise going for as long as you can. We're not trying to beat each other. We're not trying to smash the ball past each other. We're just trying to be accurate with our ball placement and to play at a pace at which we can keep the rally going. I recommend starting slowly. Just play at a nice relaxed pace until you get used to the drill. When both players have got used to the drill, then you can add in some more pace. Now you can see when I'm playing here, you know, I'm not doing really much more than a short drive as I'm switching between my backhand and forehand. Um, of course, if you want to, you could go for bigger topspin shots and inject um, more spin. Um, it makes the drill a little harder to do, but if you're playing at that higher level, then certainly you can add more rotation and add more spin. Um, for me doing this drill, you know, I'm just happy just to do, do the drives and to keep it simple and to focus on switching between backhand and forehand. Let's talk about some of the, the key coaching points. Um, firstly, your eyes, incredibly important. So you need to be able to see when your partner is switching. So after you've played your shot, your eyes go straight back to your training partner so you can see the shape of their shots. That's gonna give you a little bit more time to react when your training partner does change the direction of play. Secondly, the transition between backhand and forehand. I'm keeping my bat above the table, just changing the bat angle slightly as I switch between backhand and forehand. But I'm trying to keep it on a similar level. I'm not going down and up too much. I'm just keeping my bat above the table and then just changing the bat angle. And that allows for a quick, efficient switch between your backhand and your forehand. And finally, ball placement. To do this training drill well, your ball placement's got to be quite accurate. So when you're playing cross court, whether backhand to backhand or forehand to forehand, make sure that your ball is going cross court. When you switch to down the line, really see if you can get the ball to go in that parallel direction, okay? So there you go, a really simple training drill that you can do which is going to help you improve your rallying skills, help you improve your ability to watch your opponent and also to help you improve your ball placement. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, then please subscribe. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon. I'll see you then, bye bye.